What's up, what's up, what's up? So today I'm coming at you with another haul. <laughs> I know guys, I know. It's a problem. Uh <laughs> oh my goodness. So I had no intentions of buying anything more after going to that book sale. But today was 50% off day. Um <clears throat> at my thrift store now I didn't film anything that um any of uh what the store looked like today because I just there were boxes today so it was difficult to move around and there was a lot of people there this time so I really didn't want to um disturb anybody but um most of this is books, some of, uh, and I have two movies and a knickknack, so, which are usually out of the ordinary, I don't usually buy stuff like this, um, but I kind of, um, and some papers and some other random stuff, um, so I'm just gonna show you what I bought, um, it's not as much as the past two hauls. But, um, it's still pretty significant, I guess you would say. So, I guess I'll start with the knickknack. So, I saw this today, and, um, if things end up going the way I definitely don't expect them to, um, my future house would have a rustic look to it and so um I love owls too um so I thought that was cute so I picked that up and even if things um do hit the fan um I guess I can just put that on my bookshelf until um the end comes so <laughs> I'm going to show you the movies that I picked up now. I'm not sure if I have this. Um, if I do, um, it's no big deal because, to be honest with you, I love this movie and so does my brother. So, um, this is totally messed up, but that really doesn't matter um, because the DVD is in here. Um, but this is going to become extremely, um, real, uh, to every American pretty soon, I have a feeling, so, um, I know I have the old one, which sucks, I'm sorry guys, but the old one sucks, this is the best one, period, end of story, so, um, yeah, I picked that up, and then I picked this one up, uh, believe it or not, guys, I have not watched all of the Mad Max movies, so, um, why not pick this up? So, that's what it looks like. And those are the miscellaneous kind of things that are not books. So, let's go into the books now. Let's start with the two that I'm not sure whether or not I'm keeping. I have Dracula already, but this is a really cool edition that I have never seen before. Um, I'm probably going to end up selling this because, like I said, I've never seen this before. And it's a really cool edition. So, I think I might sell this. I mean, I'm leaning towards selling this, to be honest. Now, this one, you're going to laugh. And I'm never going to read this ever. Um, but it may or may not be able to sell based on how many pages are in this. So... This is a, I guess, an original paperback edition of a sci-fi book that basically the founder of Scientology wrote. Um, he was a sci-fi author, and I could not believe I found this there. I've never seen his works anywhere, and I just thought it was crazy. 
And like I said, I'm never going to read this. First of all, it's a clunker. It's not worth reading. He was a piece of shit. Um, but I thought this was like a relic, guys. Like, I've never seen his stuff anywhere. And as soon as I saw the name, I'm like, hmm, that looks familiar. I'm like, I'm like, that sounds weirdly familiar to me. And I had a feeling it was him, but I wasn't sure. The back cover's missing, and a possible few, um, the end page may be missing or not. So I'm going to check and see if this is in fact the last page, I may be able to sell this, but this was kind of crazy. I mean, I've never seen his work anywhere and the cover is kind of interesting. Um, I mean, I always get a kick out of the old sci-fi covers because um, I'm trying to piece out what's in here, because I'm not going to read this. I'm just not. Um, huh. Interesting. But this was, I mean, I just couldn't believe it. Um, I mean, this is kind of hilarious, guys. So I'm thinking I'm going to sell that. Um, now on to the stuff that, um... Oh, wait, no. Here's another one that I'm going to sell. This is an arc of um, Ringer, which I have. Um, but I just couldn't believe I found an arc of it. So, And this is a pretty famous author. So, like, I usually don't find um, famous arcs. But at that particular spot I go to, um, sometimes I find them. Okay, now on to the stuff that I'm keeping. <laughs> I already have a copy of The Handmaid's Tale, but I'm going to keep this because, um, why not have two copies? Um, I really did enjoy this book. I really did. Um, even though it doesn't all the way align with my, um, beliefs, and even though her writings do not, um, I do want an extra copy because, believe it or not, these are extremely difficult to find. Extremely difficult to find. Like, more difficult to find than 1984, which is in extremely high demand right now. This is Dark Matter by, uh, Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I do not, in fact, have this. And, um, I've heard of this book before, and the back kind of interested me. So, um, if I don't want it or don't like it, I'll probably end up getting rid of it. So, yeah. That's staying with me. Let me actually make piles here of what I'm keeping and what I'm not. Um, let's look at my other fiction books here. Let's do these in the correct order. I purchased one of these, um, before to, um, sell. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure I actually, um, showed another one of these on a book haul, uh, a different book haul, probably the first one that I uploaded. And, um, this one's actually for me, uh, because I saw recently a, um, a, commercial for the new movie or the movie that's coming out. So, um, you know what? I'm going to keep this, um, because the, um, ad for this movie, um, actually looked really, really good. So I'm going to keep that and possibly read it. Um, this is just a regular thriller. I read the inside of it and picked it up. So, that's staying with me. This one I've never heard of, and I've, I mean, I may have heard of it before. I mean, it's super obscure, but the back of this book really, um, piqued my interest. This is a dystopian po post-apocalyptic novel about the year 2025, and I've, I, I, I may have heard of this, like, once or seen this cover before, but that cover is, like, um, similar to a piece I made myself, um, uh, in 2020, where 
there's like a seedling and then everything else is desolate. I really, this cover is just so beautiful that I just had to pick it up. Um, and after reading the back, which you can read it yourself, you can pause it and read it yourself, um, I had to buy this. And honestly, I can't wait to read this because um, this is set in the very near future. So um, this sounds exactly like what's going on now. And I really am interested in um, these authors' take on what was supposed to happen or what they thought could have happened in 2025. And this is a book from the um, 80s, so I cannot wait to read this. I mean, that cover is just like, let's just show you again. Oh my God, that artwork is beautiful, beautiful. Um, let's go into the nonfiction type books or like the recipe. I mean, there's just... A bunch of stuff here. So let's just show you. Um, this is a book of 500 cupcakes. I don't bake cake cup. Uh, cake cups. <laughs> I don't bake cupcakes from scratch. But this book was too um, intriguing to pass up. And I guess I'll be starting um, soon. I guess. Because these look amazing. More herbal stuff on um, herbs and uses, again. So, stuff like this is just good to have around. <clears throat> and let me see what this is. Um, and so, it's got the things and uses here and it's just um really important to have stuff like this really important um this next book i'm going to give a disclaimer about i absolutely hate um johns hopkins i absolutely hate them they're evil sons of bitches um i also hate big karma but in the apocalypse this is going to be very important to have. I already have one that's similar to this. Um, but this one is way more in depth. And, um, yeah. I do not advise, um, anybody playing doctor. I don't advise, um, using pharmaceuticals if you, um, have the ability not to, which is why I have all the herbal books, but for certain things, um, modern medicine is, um, extremely helpful and extremely useful. Um, this is basically what it looks like on the inside. Okay. Very important, um, information. I honestly couldn't believe they had this there. Um, sometimes I crump come across books that I'm just, like, shocked, um, that are even there. Um, so yeah, this is important. Trust me, with the way that things are hitting the fan right now, I have a really bad feeling that this stuff that I'm buying is actually gonna be in use, so. It's not a good feeling to think that, but that's exactly what I think. Um, and then more miscellaneous stuff. I saw these. I thought that these, um, would be helpful. I already put one on my pin board because my pin board, I don't really have a whole lot of stuff on. So I put it in the center and I'm going to get some dry erase markers. And if it'll help me stay organized and, um, remember things that I need to do. These are two things that I picked up, um, this was sandwiched in between a book. This is a, um, recipe. Uh, so that was interesting. But I also found two pocket constitutions, which these days are extremely difficult to find, believe it or not. Um, 
This was distributed by the ACLU back when they were actually a decent organization. And um, I already have a pocket constitution from the Cato Institute, which doesn't just have the constitution. It also has the Declaration of Independence, I believe. I believe. Um, these were just in the box randomly. So what I did was I put them all in here. Oh, sorry about that. I put them all in here, which I was going to buy anyway. Same with them in because I am not going to pay 50 cents um, for this. Like, it's literally, it might as well be similar to a um, recipe book. So, when I see, like, little miscellaneous stuff like this. And then today I also found this. Which was sandwiched in a book, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm probably just going to slap this in my sketchbook. Look at how old this is, guys. I mean, really. I thought this was cool. And it's just like a little booklet. And this was in one of the books. But when you see stuff like this, um, they're not books, guys. They're not like books, books. I mean, I see something like this. Boom. I mean, that's, you know, basically... Um, the smart way to go about it because it is um, ridiculous to pay 50 cents for these things. So, um, anyway, um, this was just like regular paper, which I needed anyway, and I found these in the boxes, so that was cool. And basically, let me show you what this looks like on the inside. Now, I always, 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 always keep a copy of this in my pocketbook. There are two books that I always have in my pocketbook that um, are extremely important to have in there. And that is the Constitution of the United States and a Bible. So, that is what I keep in my purse. And, um, I suggest everybody do this so you, um, are basically up on your rights, okay, guys? Um, I would totally, totally keep this, um, in, like, if you find these or if you buy them or whatever, keep these on your person, or in your car at all times, because, um, you never know when, um, shit's gonna go down, and, um, you need to, uh, brush up on what your rights are, so, um, most people in America, I guarantee you, have no, no idea, um, about what their rights are, and I guarantee you, most Americans don't even own a copy of the Constitution, or even read it in full, so this is extremely important, and I was thrilled to find two of these today. If you're wondering what the other one is, um, I gave one of them away um, to someone So already. So um, These are dope. If you find these, pick them up, because people are going to need this in the very near future. So that's basically it for today. Um, if you enjoyed this, make sure to um, hit that like button. Um, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, hopefully, guys, there won't be more of these. Like, I know they may be cool to watch, but um, this space is really getting a little bit ridiculous. So, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. So, hopefully, there won't be more of these. We will see. Um, but that's it for the um, haul today. Um, until next time. Bye, guys.